Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video, I want to show you how to make a credit memo. Before I show you how to make a credit memo, I want to explain the difference between a credit memo and a refund receipt. A credit memo is a, um, a credit or a document that you issue that a customer can use against an open invoice or against a future invoice. So I want you to think of a credit memo is like taking something back to the store and getting in-store credit. You don't get your money back and you can use this to purchase something. If you are getting a refund receipt, that means that you have received your money back. So this video is about the credit memo. Let's go ahead and go over here to sales and go to customers and we will identify who to give a credit memo to. Let's pretend that Angela, um, Angela had purchased something from us for $125 and we are going to give her a credit memo for that. So in the land I make believe, she bought something, it didn't work out, we want to be nice, whatever the case is, she has not paid for anything, so we're not going to give her her money back. We do want to keep a record of the invoice we created, so we're not going to void out the invoice, but we're going to give her a credit memo that we can use to pay the invoice. So let's take a look at the invoice. She purchased something that had the product or service called Hours. There was one unit at $125. When I create the credit memo, I will basically do the reverse of what I have here. What I have here says increase my accounts receivable and increase my income. So my credit memo is going to decrease both of those things. Let's do this together. I can go to the upper left hand corner to plus new and down a credit memo. If I was on this screen, an alternative way to do this is to go to new transaction and go to credit memo. It's two routes to the same place. Angela is here. I'm going to use the product or service called hours. Um, for this example, I'm choosing to use the same product or service as what was on the invoice because I want it to map t to link up to connect to the same thing I had used before. So I'm going to pick a quantity of one and a rate of $125. So one thing at $125 each equals a total of $125. I'm not going to send it because I don't really want to send an email to myself. I'm just going to say save and close. So I've, I've done step one of a two-step process. I've issued the credit memo, but I have not yet said, hey QuickBooks, go apply that credit memo. And the way you can tell is that the, t the 125 says unapplied here and the invoice says open rather than closed. Closed is just a fancy way of saying closed or paid or no longer needing your attention. So I'm going to receive payment, except for not receiving real money. I'm just going to say, please connect my credit memo with my invoice. So let me click on this. So the amount received is zero dollars. That's perfect because I'm not receiving new money. I'm going to connect invoice 1004 with credit memo 1009. So $125, $125. I'm just going to connect them together or apply the credit memo to the invoice. I'm going to select save and close. When I do this, I can now see that my invoice is paid. My credit memo is closed and the only open invoice is this one invoice for $100. I've showed you this in a different video, but in case you don't watch all of the many videos that I create, I want to show you something really fast. If you go to the invoice that says paid and you ask yourself, how is that paid? I never got $125. You click on one payment in the upper right hand corner. You click on the date and this screen tells you no money came in the bank account. Invoice 1004 was marked as paid because somebody, us in this example, 
connected the credit memo to that invoice, therefore marking the invoice as paid. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, comments, any of that, please go ahead and leave them in the, in the comment section below. If you want to see this in step-by-step -step form, we'll go ahead and link a blog with images in the YouTube description. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let me know if there's anything we can do for you.